Hey everyone, uh, I was uh, asked a question uh, a couple of days ago as far as what my settings are to laser mark brass. Instead of doing a bunch of screenshots and leaving a lot uh, to the imagination, I decided just to drop into the EasyCAD 2.12.0 application utilizing a 50 watt laser <coughs> and show you some of the settings that I use in order to engrave on brass. This, is, this test is just going to show you basic brass engraving. It's not going to, you know, really optimize for production purposes, things of that nature, as far as uh, certain resolutions, and I'll show you what I'm talking about on that in just a moment. A primary color that we're going to be using here is magenta as far as our power settings. The items that we're going to be engraving are some things that I've gathered up around the shop uh, since this weekend. Uh, item number one is your standard garden variety Home Depot or Lowe's solid brass key. Okay. Uh, secondly, a 308 brass case. Okay. And I believe this to be brass. It's somewhat of a mystery metal. This is a water meter uh, housing. The instrumentation has long since been uh, removed. It's just the housing and I've got around 30 of these that are destined for the the, uh, the scrapyard. It is a little bit different in the sense of the key uh, and the shell casing in that it has a little bit more of a pinkish tone to it. I do not know if they mix uh, uh, different metals to achieve that or what the deal is, but as you can see, uh, it's a yellowy tinge to a key, a little bit of golden color, and this is a, a has a kind of a pinkish uh, look to it. I don't really know what that what that means in regards to what it's made of. I think it's primarily a brass, but uh, I will tell you this much that. All brasses are not created equal, so this could be a perfect example of uh, how they are different uh, as well as the, the shell casing. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got three examples here on the screen. This will be the key uh, primarily. Uh, secondly will be the brass casing. And lastly will be the water meter housing. Let's take a look quickly at my, at my settings as it relates to power. I'm running three loops. Speed is 160. Power is 100. Frequency is 20. Frequency at 20 is going to be the most aggressive. Uh, you can certainly raise it. It cannot be lowered. Uh, if, you even, if you try to lower it, it's not going to have zero effect because the controller will only do so much. So uh, we're running 50 watts. Uh, this was, is going to vary on everybody's uh, 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 easy CAD application. This is your start and stop and making sure you don't get shadowing and you get nice <coughs> steep um, or, or 90 degree walls as far as your engraving is concerned. Uh, lastly, we've got a spot diameter. Very rarely, if ever, do I change that. but. Just for the sake of information, it is set on 0 .050 millimeters. I'm just going to cancel out of that. The hatching, let's take a let's look see at that. Okay, hatching. Alright, so there we are. And as you can see, I'm coming in with my hatching at various angles. Highlight it there. Uh, we've got hatch one coming in at 45 degrees, 0 0.02 millimeters as far as my line spacing. Hatch number two, 90 degree angle, still 0 0.002, uh, excuse me, 0 0.02. And lastly, 0 0.02, and that's a 315 angle. Everything is using the same power settings. Everything is using the same 0 0.02 millimeter as far as the line spacing. And uh, angles are varying only from 45 to 90 to 315. We're going to back off of that. 
Okay, so we can see the balance of the screen. Okay, move this to the side. Okay, there we are. First one we're going to do is the key. So this will be our text we're going to use. Uh, this is our address and apartment number. I've got a, <coughs> a bunch of these keys to do. This is kind of a little personal project I've got uh, for some apartments I, have, I need to replicate some keys for uh, some tenants. So we are going to move that to center. First thing we're going to do is drop in our settings. I've already done that ahead of time. So we're running. Uh, 1.95 millimeter in height and height our focus length will be 317.95 and our base height will be 146.95 <clears throat> drop that in I'm going to go ahead and hit the red button to get a focus on the key. Get a key in place. Alright, I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit more. I'll zoom in. <coughs> I'm going to line this up. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like the mayor giving the key to the city. It's just a just a marker so we know what the key is associated to. A slight little bit of alignment there. It looks like we're good to go. We've got our height in place. We've got it zoomed in so you can see it do its thing. And do the stop and mark. What I've noticed about doing these the solid brass keys is there the light is bright immediately and my marks are a dark black which tells me it's not doing the dance it's I'm getting some some depth there so we're gonna have to let that go through I think it's roughly nine passes which is three times three we've got three three hatchings three each three times three is nine so let that go through its lasering. Then here shortly. that done. I'm going to get a close-up of that item. You can adjust your line spacing. You can go faster. Uh, you know, like instead of 0 0.02, you can go 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.09, whatever that you need to do to give you the mark that you need and the time frame that you have during the production process. Obviously the, the tighter the line spacing the longer it's going to take to engrave it. Okay, so that's done. Take a look here. So we got a good, we got a decent deep mark there. You see there, nice clean crits. It's relatively smooth to the touch. No burnishing or, you know, smoothing is required. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, uh, it works and plays well with the, with the laser quite nicely. Now the next item we're going to do is we're going to drop in our brass casing. There we go. Put that right there. Drop in our readings. Got my height. 
that over so we got a part height of 11.70 okay we have a focus length of 327.70 and a base height of 156.70 Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move this other graphic out of the way. Grab the text. I like the brass casing. Move it over to center. Hit the red button. Get our focus in play. And let's get things lined up on this. Get it from the side here to make sure I've got. Good centering. And everything looks everything looks good there. And mark. Seems like the, it wants to do a little bit more of a dance. In other words, you'll see the brightness come across, and we really don't now we're starting to get the, the, the darkness pop in. So it's spotty. It's not as pronounced as it was with the solid brass key. You can see right now it's not very consist consistent with the E uh, as in the other characters at the end of the word case. I'm not quite sure why that's doing that, but let's see what it does here. Can't stop. I'm gonna grab me a little, a little napkin here because ah, this thing is very toasty. Right, so there's our mark there. Didn't really get the pronounced E like I had had hoped for. Don't know what's going on there. I don't know if it could be possibly uh, uh, levelness because this is a tapered case. I don't think it's out of focus. So we should, we should be fine there. Everything's set dead center. So it could simply be the fact that it's a tapered case and we're getting less power there. Uh, everything looks real nice here. It's comparing it. Uh, better deeper mark uh, on the solid brass key than on the, the shell casing. So I'm going to set these two aside. Get that bad boy right there. Move this over. Now let's bring into place. I'll zoom the camera out. A little bit. There we go. And we're going to move it up a little bit so we can see a little bit better and then zoom in there. Allow me to zoom. There we go. Take a look at that. So we're going to drop our settings in. For that new piece and see how it does. You can see I've done another, I've had a couple of tests, test runs I've already done on it, so I know it's going to mark, but it's just a matter of will it mark uh, to the degree that the other parts are. So let's take our settings here, and our part height will be 58.92. Our base height, 203.92, and our focus length, 374.92, 374.92. Okay, so there we are on that. I'm going to 
do the same Houston, Texas on it. I'm going to bring that to center. Double check my focus length, base height 374.92, base height 203.92, 58.92. Okay, and hit the red button so that can get focused in on that part. Center of the piece. Move that right there. That looks good to go. It's a piece of scrap anyway, so let's set the world on fire. Stop and mark. Getting a decent bright mark on it. And you can see a slight brightness around the character, so I'm achieving depth. It's hard to maybe see that in the video, but I'm seeing it here in person, so I know it's just not dancing on the surface at all because of the bright light primarily, but the, uh, the brightness of the edges is another telltale sign. So while that's finishing, uh, all in all we've gone through the solid brass key test, the 308 showcasing brass test, and now the water meter is finishing up. Everything was using the exact same power settings through and through. Everything was using the same hatching, uh, the same number of loops, the same line interval. Everything's the same. You can adjust any of these things that you want. but if you're wanting a starting point of what my settings are, here they are. Uh, so that's it. So we've got this. Let me back the camera off a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Back that off a little bit. Kind of scoot this to the side. we got uh, our key there. Nice mark. We've got, uh, and by the way, all these marks around the shell casing, that's the same power, same setting, same everything. So you can see it. You know, this is a little, little bit rough to the feel, but I mean, you can, it's clearly a deep mark in there, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And we got that, we got those. So that's my brass settings. I hope this has uh, helped you out a little bit. If you have any other questions, post them up to the board. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it.